Hello and welcome to National Focus. I'm Nisha Charles. Coming up, Prime Minister Skerritt invites the private sector to invest in housing. CHF Caribbean and the Ministry of Agriculture host the potato exhibition and the Environmental Health Department focuses on healthy environments. Details of our headline stories and more after this. You're watching GIS. Thanks for staying with us. Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt has called on the private sector to partner with government in its quest to improve housing in Dominica through its Housing Revolution program. The most recent development under the program is the construction of two apartment complexes recently completed in Bath Estate and End Hall. These buildings are set to accommodate 60 families. However, the Ministry of Housing revealed that over 900 families have submitted requests. Prime Minister Skerritt says these large volumes of applicants indicate that even while government has done much to alleviate the nation's housing issue, there is still more to do. He says the private sector should see this as a chance to invest. Herein lies an opportunity, I believe, for the private sector. Uh, there are people who have made millions of, do of dollars out of the country and out of the citizens of Dominica. And I believe that the government is more than willing to make lands available to the private sector in a joint partnership where they themselves would construct the apartments and sell to the public. There's a, tr there's a great opportunity. And I, I do not believe that we should wait for a foreign investor to come in to do it um, and then say that the foreign investor is doing it. There's, there's an opportunity for the private sector, um, a consortium of them or individually, to move into the construction of, of apartments um, for, for the citizens. We have more lands there in, in Emsor we can make available. There are lands in um, Warner. The government has several hundreds of acres of land in Warner um, that's also owned by Social Security. We have hundreds of acres of land in, in Portsmouth, in the Portsmouth area. We are more than willing to partner with the private sector. We have more lands in, in uh, Hillsborough Gardens. And we have about 25 acres left in Hillsborough Gardens. I'm sure the government is more than prepared to, to partner with, um, with um, individuals. In, in Wesley area, London area, we have lots of lands there. So we have, the government has large tracts of land that is prepared to partner with the private sector and to provide the concessions required to, to construct those apartments. Prime Minister Skerritt says government will continue to make good on its promise to construct 1,500 affordable homes over the next five years. Officials from the Ministry of Agriculture as well as locals got a taste of new varieties of Irish potatoes. The Ministry of Agriculture partnered with the Canadian Hunger Fund CHF Caribbean's promotion of regional opportunities through Enterprise and Linkages Propel project to host the taste test in an exhibition on Wednesday. The exhibition was geared at showing the comparison between the new varieties of Irish potato and those traditionally grown locally. Consumers gave feedback on the quality, taste, texture and other key characteristics of the varieties being tested by CHF Caribbean. This will help the organization determine the preference of nationals. Agribusiness and Marketing Coordinator of the CHF Caribbean, Dr. Nadia Packet anzam says CHF Caribbean sees the exhibition as a step forward in understanding consumer needs. We're excited and elated about this opportunity because we see it as a pivotal opportunity for actually plunging or launching forward um, proper initiative in terms of the Irish potato um, production base in Dominica. So we're hoping that this activity will guide us better and guide the farmers as well and the Ministry of Agriculture as it relates to what the consumers' preferences are. And we are hoping to receive some feedback as well, whether it's negative, that, that could actually improve on the way forward in terms of producing Irish potato in a manner that, is consumer, um, that the consumers are actually appreciating. Well, this is one of the, the activities that the project is actually initiating. We hope to see um, sooner, um, you know, in months ahead, some other activities related to Irish potatoes. But we think that this one is instrumental and it will guide us as it relates to better choice and selection of the varieties that we plan to produce locally. She notes that consumer feedback has been exceptional. The consumer feedback is, is really um, more than I expected. Um, I think we have persons from all levels. I saw some, some students here today. We saw some household consumers, some teachers, even um, some government-related um, um, officials. So I'm happy that we will get that level of feedback as it relates to 
what are the best choices. We have five varieties here on display today of five different cultivars of Irish potatoes. And um, we, the, the general feedback is that the, the, um, the peel or aesthetic look of the, of the potato is, is amazing in terms of the size um, and the, the quality. And persons are actually giving us the preferences, so we're happy for that. We also have on display some local dishes um, that we could prepare. We heard consumers complain a lot about the pebbles or the very small potatoes being um, part and parcel of um, what is displayed at the local supermarkets. So we're trying to um, enable a better appreciation for the pebbles or these, these, um, these small potatoes and how actual our consumers can actually produce or prepare them as local dishes. GIS News got a first-hand account of what a local consumer thought about the exhibition. Surprisingly, both of them were very nice. I preferred the local one, the taste, but tasting it there, it's, it's even nicer than the other white one I saw there. Sufria farmer Erica Burnett Biscom says she was very pleased with the yield of her crop of new varieties. I've been a potato farmer now for a few years. I've been planting the potato by the name of Desiree, but this year I tried a new potato called El Mundo. I was very pleased with the results of the El Mundo. It was very easy to cook and it was lovely and fluffy. It made a nice mashed potato and I was, I was very um, happy with the, it grew very quickly. Planting potatoes in Dominica, we are blessed here with fabulous climates and the soils are also fantastic for growing potatoes. So as long as you follow the instructions given to you by your extension officer, you can get a good yield. My yield was 5 to 1 and 6 to 1. The aim of the CHF Caribbean funded Propel project is to help various Caribbean countries, including Dominica, to meet the quality, quantity and food safety needs of buyers in a consistent and reliable way year-round. In more news, in order to reduce the poverty levels in Dominica, the Labour Party government undertook several programs to first of all improve the living conditions of the underprivileged. The first program to be rolled out was the Housing and Sanitation Program, followed by the Squatter Regulations Program. Honorable Skerritt says the changes brought by these programs in villages across Dominica are visible. If one looks at uh, Focoli, the, the hills of Focoli driving, from, driving north from the, from the port, and you compare it to what is there now with 10 years ago or 15 years ago, you would see a dramatic transformation of Focoli, largely because of the fact that these people now own their lands and were able to go to the financial institution um, to... Um, to acquire loans to improve their homes. In Benaravin, in um, Canefield, it's the same thing. And in many parts of the country, in Green Valley, in, in Point Michel, where the people who live in, 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 in really deplorable conditions, because of the empowerment of the government for this regularization program, these people have been able to, 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 to raise themselves um, from, from, from poverty to, um, to out of poverty. Um, can you imagine the entire village of Dubik, all of the lifetime? I've met people in Dubik, 85 years old, who said they've lived there all of their lives and they were squatting on somebody's private property. It took us to come in after 85 years to regularize these people in Dubik. By acquiring this estate from a private family, and selling the land to the people at 25 cents per square foot. So we have caused an entire village now to be, la to be landowners in this country. By 2013, well over $26 million was spent on these programs. The Prime Minister was speaking at a, to the press at a walkthrough of the newly constructed Bath Estate and Ems Hall apartment complexes on Wednesday. Meantime, the Honorable Prime Minister says his government is committed to reducing the indigence level in Dominica. Honorable Skerritt revealed that a systematic approach has been developed to achieve this. A survey conducted in 2003 revealed that the indigence level in Dominica was at 10%. With the intervention of the Dominica Labour Party government, the country poverty assessment conducted in 2008-2009 revealed that the indigence line was reduced to 3%. 
Speaking with the press on Wednesday, Honorable Skerritt indicated that his government has put structures in place to bring this figure even lower by reaching every individual in the indigence bracket. Your housing condition is a variable that one uses in determining someone's, um, someone's level in so far as poverty is concerned. And I, I am sure, because our commitment is the 3% of people who have been identified as indigent, that we are going to get them out of this, 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 this thing. And what we're doing in the government is to not only talk about a community that is poor, but we are getting, we have the names of the families, the households, and what we are doing, we are going to, we are targeting this whole, these families. So not the village only, we are targeting the families. And that is one of the mandates of Alvin Bernard in the Ministry of Economic Development, because he is a social scientist and he has worked in on, on, on these poverty programs all of his life in the Ministry of Finance. And so we have reassigned him that responsibility to get the names of every poor person in Dominica. And we'll be devising strategies and programs to, to, to target these families. So if it's, an, if it's an issue of housing, we will build houses for you. If it's an issue of access to water, the government will come into with water. If it's an issue of access to electricity, we'll address this issue. Um, if it's an issue of the education of your children, we'll provide your children with, with skills um, so that they can be gainfully employed. So this is the kind of systematic, strategic um, approach we're taking uh, within the government um, to seek to address these issues. In its 2014 manifesto, the Dominica Labour Party pledged to reduce the level of poverty in Dominica from 28% to between 10 and 15% and to reduce the indigence from 3 to 0% by 2020. You're watching National Focus. Still to come, Landfill Manager discusses solutions to water management issues with the Prime Minister. Stay with us. Did you know the Caribbean Court of Justice is two courts in one? The CCJ has two functions, an original jurisdiction, which deals with your right to move between CARICOM countries freely and your right to move your money and your business. This is the basis of the CARICOM Single Market and Economy, CSME, and the revised Treaty of Chagaramas, and an appellate jurisdiction to hear appeals from courts of those countries which decide to use it as their final court of appeal and no longer go to the Privy Council. All CARICOM member states who have signed the agreement establishing the CCJ are members of the CCJ. Welcome back. The Environmental Health Department is promoting a healthy environment as part of the Agenda for Environmental Health Month, which will be celebrated throughout the month of June. The World Health Organization defines the environment as it relates to health as all the physical, chemical and biological factors external to a person and all the related behaviors. The Honorable Minister with Special Responsibility for the Environment, Ivor Stevenson, outlines areas of priority for the department for the 2014 to 2016 period. The Environmental Health Strategic Plan prioritized the following areas for action in 2014 to 2016. Vector control, liquid and solid waste, food safety, pot health and communicable diseases, occupational health and safety, drinking recreational water, institutional health, homes and community health. Globally, Nearly 25% of all deaths and the total disease burden can be attributed to environmental factors. Environmental factors are diverse and far-reaching. Thus, we have placed emphasis on three factors. Occupational health and safety, food safety with focus on fish, and vector control. We see the need to consistently maintain an awareness among the population in order to drive positive behaviors for healthy environments. Poor environmental quality has its greatest impact on people whose health status is already at risk. Therefore, environmental health must address the societal and environmental factors that increase the likelihood 
of exposure and disease. The Honorable Minister outlined actions that could contribute to healthier people and a more sustainable environment. The promotion of composting and reuse of solid waste, limited use of toxic chemicals in food production, consumption of wholesome foods, the increased production of organic foods, avoid pollution of our rivers and marine waters with waste, soil and chemicals. Water containers provide housing for the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Keep them covered when not in use. And adoption of a cleaner energy to reduce the impact of our climate. Promotion of a safe environment must become part of our culture. It must be nature at schools and maintained at our workplaces and our communities. Past generations left this island on a sound environmental footing. The onus is now upon us to leave Dominica on a better environmental health platform for future generations. The Dominica landfill manager, Jana McLawrence, is calling for the adoption of a sustainable approach to solid waste management. McLaurin says the corporation needs long-term solutions to the problems that it faces and made a few suggestions. She was sharing her thoughts while having discussions with the Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt and staff of the corporation on Monday. One of them is new legislation for recycling. Secondly, we need uh, more equipment and appropriate machinery for the landfill itself to prolong its life and also to ensure that recycling goes on. She says public education is instrumental in moving forward in the right direction. And finally, a closing ceremony at the Alliance Française earlier this week marked the end of the month-long tourism awareness campaign for the month of May. Every May, the Discover Dominique Authority, the DDA, launches Tourism Awareness Month with an objective to sensitize the general public on the importance of the tourism industry and its benefits to the various facets of Dominica's economy. Schools across the island and the private sector were specifically targeted to create greater awareness of Dominica's tourism product. At Monday's ceremony, successful participants in the various activities organized were awarded. This included participants in the Tourism Youth Congress held every year for secondary schools. Students were given the opportunity to display pertinent tourism-related topics selected by the Caribbean Tourism Organization. This year, the Orion Academy's Emma Lear competing against students from six other schools, captured title of Youth Minister. She will represent Dominica at the regional competition at the State of the Industry Congress in Curacao, carded for November of 2015. Savan James of the Convent High School placed second and Crystal Bannis of the Dominica Grammar School came in third. For the first year since its hosting of Tourism Awareness Month, the DDA presented a youth essay competition titled, What Does Tourism Mean to You? 19 schools participated in the competition. Winning the junior category was Jocelyn Williams representing the Pierre Charles Secondary. Shania Robinson of the Convent High School placed second, while Louis Robinson Revere of the Orion Academy came in third. In the senior category, Montel Phillip of the Castle Bruce Secondary outshined the two other competing schools. Another of this year's activities was the primary school bin painting competition, which involved 11 primary schools in the Roseau area. The convent preparatory school placed first, with the Warner Primary placing second, followed by Sufria Primary. DD also hosted a customer service training targeting immigration officers, customs officers, port security and police officers of the tourism unit. It sought to enhance the knowledge of service providers in the key components of the tourism product and the delivery of quality service. Five of 17 officers were present to receive their certificates at Monday's ceremony. They were Bernard Daru, Pelham John Baptist, Daryl James, Kevin Sorendo, and Kimani Pascal. And before we leave you, here's an announcement. The Cultural Division is inviting nominations for the 2015 Golden Drum Awards. Persons, groups, or institutions being nominated should have at least 20 years' experience in the field of culture, and the work of the person or group should have a positive impact on Dominica. Nominations are also invited for special recognition awards. Special recognition awards are issued to such persons, groups and institutions who have made a contribution in culture for less than 20 years and to those who have achieved notable success in the particular field of art and culture. 
Nomination forms are available at the Old Mill Cultural Center, the Arawak House of Culture, and the Ministry of Culture at the government headquarters. All nominations should read the Division of Culture at the Old Mill, Canefield, by Monday, June 30th, 2015. And that's the English news. Mark for St. Louis is next with the Creole Highlights. Cricket fans and cricket lovers come witness the mighty Aussies take on the West Indies team in the first test match. Windsor Bank Stadium, Dominica, June 3rd to 7th. Dominica, the Caribbean and the world. Dominica welcomes you to exciting winners versus Australia test match. June 3rd to 7th for Windsor Bank Stadium, Dominica. We just love our cricket. Hello tout le monde, bienvenue à cette nouvelle en créole, non moins c'est McPherson Salos. Premièrement, le département Evian Santé qui a célébré moi Evian, en le 1er juin l'année 2015, a battu un protecteur Evian pour la génération de venir. Secrétaire du Parlement en ministre de la Santé, Honorable Ivo Stevenson, et puis responsabilité pour Evian là, délivre la douce à ce compte ministre là. Lundi, nous tenions un petit lames dans l'église Alphonse, Saint Alphonse. Et puis, à place de la place, on travaille avec le ministère de la Santé. Et puis, ils vont être là. Et puis, ça nous fait nous lunch. Ces activités-là nous fait pour. Et puis, ces activités-là qui nous font, et puis, santé, ils vont. Pour moi, ça là. Non, ça nous, le work en ministère de santé, c'est pour eux qui nous fait un improvement à la santé Yvon. Et puis, moi, ça là, le département Yvon, car nous faisons des activités. En même temps, plaisir à ce que vous avez attention à observer ces activités-là. Et puis, vous avez gardé. Um, plus dans les trois, trois areas. Je regarde quand ça um, fait manger, puis manger, 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 et puis vendre manger, et puis nous regarde quand ça um, fait pour nous faire, et puis, et puis um, maladie, um, et puis pest control, um, vector control, et puis l'autre côté, nous regarde quand c'est um, glow, nous regarde sa water quality. So I don't see what I'm saying. I'm going to have different programs, different workshops, different seminars, different regions, different places to help us encourage people to do the same thing. In other news, the cabinet of Dominic Kejouen Simen Salam for the assessment of the decision that concerns the people who receive the key to the apartment in La Coudoué and Emzol. I will tell us what you Minister Kai on the original Austria. I mean, when we didn't know how to say that we had a cafe like that, we didn't have to be there, 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 because we didn't have to be there, but we didn't have to be there, 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 Trois, deux, trois semaines. Am demi vendredi, nous allons saisir qu'on commite un cabinet. Nous allons commencer à garder ces applications-là. Et pour qu'on ait une short list, on est pour short list. Am nous qui fait ça avec mon cas depuis peut-être deux, deux, trois semaines. Nous qui a donné position pour nous passer mon là qui qualifie pour nous bailler la clé pour pour ce cas-là. Alors nouvelle, Dominique sélecté pour un pilot programme combattre maladie par peste qui a affecté coco. Parole c'est la sortie de l'officier quarantine, Vernon and Sam. Well, comme vous savez, moi c'est le vice-chairman de l'organisation. Nous avons travaillé bon avec l'USD et nous avons travaillé nous nous avons fait. Nous avons des gens qui sont bien intéressés dans le travail là. Nous avons parlé contre ce staff plan de protection. Nous avons bien intéressés avec nous avons tapé le travail là. Nous avons traité nous, nous avons fait bien. Et bien, sur ça, je l'ai dit, je l'ai commencé avec Dominique, avec des autres pays. Et bien, nous sommes bien contents de comment nous avons fait le travail là, et bien, comment ce staff là, 
ka fait trois fois là et il traîne nous et puis il y a aussi des données et comment de nous ka oui mais c'est USB et fils pour travailler nous et USB et fils ka traîne quarantine office à nous et ka traîne moun en laboratory technician c'est pas seulement ça yo ka fait yo ka fait un parti travail en région et nous bien content pour travailler yo et puis finalement, le ministère de l'Agriculture qui continue de travailler et puis habitant tout le pays. La parole est là, sorti de la directrice de l'Agriculture, M. Ricky Bromant. Le travail de ministère de l'Agriculture, c'est pour faire cette. Comme les habitants, les planteurs d'hommes, ont une bonne information, une bonne assistance pour faire les affaires bien. Monsieur, madame, ça c'est tout pour nouvel en créole. Pour à présent, non moins, c'est Marc-Fosso Saint-Louis. Au revoir. Coming up, your tip of the day. It's found in your kitchen cabinet and has multiple uses. Baking soda can be used as shampoo to remove buildup in your hair, as well as a soak in the bath. Make a baking soda paste and apply to those stubborn pimples, as well as to calm your uneasy stomach. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website, news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow our Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I'm Nisha Charles. Thanks for watching.